We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Just another, just something different today. Um, yeah, just sort of been playing around with some customs a little bit. Just in another one's on screen. These are kind of the, these are kind of the figures I've used. Um, so I was kind of inspired by a couple of couple of people on the Star Wars Vintage Collection Facebook group. Um, it's the it's the biggest one. Most most VC collectors are sort of in there on Facebook, um, in which they sort of done a bit of a redo on the VC uh, Phantom Menace mole, um, just to sort of bring him up. So I did have a spare one. I've had a couple. This guy has spent a lot of time. Yeah, I don't think this is, this isn't the actual robe he comes with. Um, so this is the VC Mall. It was released back in 2011. Um, I never got the re-release a few years ago when it was when he sort of came out again. With the sort of and yeah, at the time it was a fantastic mall. I think it still holds up body wise. Um, perhaps the head not so much these days. Um, so what people have actually been doing with this figure is giving him a bit of a head swap. So I basically got my spare and I had another one of these. This is the Siege of Mandalore Vintage Collection Mall. And just, yeah, I can see why they did it. The head sculpt is really, really nice. You know, it's still, you know, it's meant for Mandalore sort of Darth Maul, but it's still, you know, there's not much between this look and how we looked in the Phantom Menace. So yeah, I um I decided to take the the neck completely off of my other figure because this has got the uh the ball and socket. I found with the head swap, people in the in the group have done the head swap and just popped this head on the Darth Maul body. Um I just found it didn't fit super well. So I actually sliced off the neck <laughs> on both of these figures. Really pop the head off and uh he yeah, really sort of clean cut in and around the collar as it sort of sits up around his neck and then I was able to put in once I'd cut out that neck and got sort of got it to a pretty close shape to fit in there I uh I did that and this is this is what I come up with um let me see if I can get the light down a little bit further so we can get a little bit of a brighter look at it It's all falling apart. So as you can see, there's more the head will still pop off. It's nice and strong on there. There's a tiny little split there, which I just drop a little bit of black paint into, and that'll be fine. But yeah, still got that ball and socket in there. The black neck, you know, obviously suits the skin, and. Um, the head being able to just sort of pop in there and gives it the same same range of articulation as the Siege of Mandalore mole. So yeah, this is almost like a nice updated version of a VC sort of modern quality mole. I do wish the uh, fabric was a little bit better here. That was always a bit of an issue, like it was just didn't feel as clean, just sort of random bits of fabric. I feel like they definitely do a little bit better on that these days. If not, you know, go for the plastic route, the sort of softer plastic. I like that, but a little bit more prominent, a bit longer. So, yeah, this is my sort of go-to. He's the one that he's dueling with Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon up on my shelf. Whereas this guy will... This other VC one will get popped back on the speeder. So what I was left over with was an extra body for this one. And some years ago, I actually had a second Darth Maul here. Um, and what I did is I got the 5 POA one from 2014. It was, uh, came in the two pack. And uh, I, so this is going back a while. I probably did a video on it, to be honest. Um... I actually created articulation for this figure. <laughs> Made pegs so it could swivel at the uh, at the arms there. Created some joints for the knees. You know, it's not pretty. 
but you know what, it worked. It gave the figure a little bit more articulation, and I'd actually taken off the head off of this one, my old extra, and put it on this one. So yeah, have, now having a spare body from this updated Siege of Mandalore, you know, argued with the same outfit, slightly different colours, um, given that we never really got to see this one as it was, um, yeah, I've come up with, with this. So we've got the uh, sort of animated style head on the realistic body. The reds don't really match, um, and maybe his head is a little bit out of proportion in comparison. As you can even just see there, the head is a little bit bigger. But, you know, to have that extra articulation and basically, yeah, I'd use the same, same neck from that figure. And I actually broke off a screw, like a very slim screw, and sort of bore it into the, screwed it into the, into the body of the figure, and then was able to, you know, spin it around, screw it back in so the pin was in, cut sticking out, the point of the screw was pointing up, got rid of the, snipped off the thread with um, pliers, and then was able to just sort of screw that neck on, just so it gives it a little bit of extra hold. So yeah, again, it's not the cleanest, but just sort of pop the head on. I don't know. I'm 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 kind of happy with it. It's much better than than this body here. So yeah, just sort of come up with a couple of couple of variations of Darth Maul, just to, just having a little bit of fun. You know, it's it's been a long time since I've sort of played around with customising on sort of at least this scale. It's, I know it's not much, but it's, it's actually been fun to sort of play around some extra figures. This is this is an old, I think it was a GI Joe samurai sword that I sort of chopped down and painted to turn into a an alternate dark saber. Because I only ever had the one that came with Pre Vizsla back in the day. And this one's kind of just, it's kind of been fine to take its place. So it's just a, so he stands up there on the Clone Wars shelf with Savage. So yeah, I just wanted to share them. It's just, just something a little bit different. Um, wanted to, been thinking about recording something like this all week. I do have another idea for a video that I want to do next week. Um... Just, just enjoying my action figures, basically. That's what it's all about. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Any other ideas? Thanks to anyone, whoever it is, was in the group. I didn't get names. There was about three or four people I'd seen posted this this sort of idea for Darth Maul. So I thought, oh, you know what? I've got an extra VC Maul. I'll give it a crack. Um, so yeah, I'm very grateful for people's awesome talents out there. It's definitely inspiring. Um and yeah, I'm very happy with how he looks up on the shelf with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. I'll put a little clip up there now so you can have a look and see where he stands. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching.